Hi, this is Kongpa Pikachu. Recently, CA has released the new DLC pack, A Princess. Oh my, what an amazing game! This is the first game about this history. Even in China, there aren't any games or videos related to it, cause it's the darkest and the bloodiest period even many Chinese are not familiar with. As a Chinese, I'm very interested in history and also have great interest in games, especially some niche and mysterious history like Eight Princess War. But its mystery is one of the reasons why you are also interested, isn't it? Well, I just want to remind you before the introduction. Hold on. Now let's get started. In 280, Sima Yan, emperor of the Jin Dynasty, led armies in six directions to defeat the Kingdom Wu successfully, and the Jin Dynasty finally complete the reunification. Do you think that's the end of the story? Of course not. The Jin Dynasty was called the most rubbish dynasty by Chinese. It was because of its chaotic rule, as well as the bloody and the brutal imperial infighting, and the cause was Sima Yan, the emperor who completed the reunification. As the grandson of Sima Yi and the son of Sima Zhao, Sima Yan was a handsome and talented man, but he gave birth to an idiot son named Sima Zhong. Well, this man is famous because he's really stupid. He once told people during the famine period, "Your Majesty, we're really starving. Can you give us some food?" Hmm. If the refugees couldn't eat rice, why did they eat meat? Another time, when he was taking a walk in the palace with his officials, he heard frogs screaming and asked the officials,、mm, "Who are these frogs screaming for? For royals or for people?" Your Majesty, if the frogs scream in royals' place, they scream for royals. If the frogs scream in people's place, they scream for people. Hmm. Fair. All right, Sima Yan has twenty six sons. Usually, such a fool cannot be the emperor, but it happened that the fool gave birth to a little genius. In order to make the genius grandson Sima Yu ascend to the throne, Sima Yan had to choose the silly son Sima Zhong as his heir. Make a fool the emperor. All the discerning people would get to know the world would be in chaos. In order to prevent this situation from happening, Sima Yan arranged his four sons, Sima Wei, Sima Ying, Sima Yi, and Sima Yun, to guard the empire from four sides as a strong backing to protect their idiot big brother. Originally, this arrangement is no problem. But what may a ghost wrong lies in the queen of Sima Zhong. Her name is Jia Nanfeng, the ugliest and most sinister queen in China history. Who is short and ugly, not the beauty you see in the trailer. Therefore, after Sima Yan's death, Jia Nanfeng was ready to make the trouble. Sima Yan's testamentary edict. Required his father-in-law Yang Jun and his uncle Sima Liang, king of Runan, to jointly assist the full emperor. However, Yang Jun bullied Sima Liang, who was also a semi-fool, and pushed him out of the court to take power. Jia Nanfeng, queen of the idiot emperor, cannot stand this anymore. She thought she was in charge of the idiot emperor, but not Yang Jun. So she contact the king of Runan Sima Liang and the king of Chu Sima Wei to together kill Yang Jun. In Sima Wei's arrow reign, Yang Jun can only hide in the stable, and was finally killed by Sima Wei's soldiers. After Yang Jun's death, the power fell into the hands of Sima Liang. 
However, Sima Liang is a semi fu, just a little cleverer than Sima Zhong. Jia Nanfeng cannot bear that. My fu is only a little more stupid than you. Why do I have to listen to you? And Sima Wei was born cruelty. Sima Liang also want to get rid of him. With this background, Jia Nanfeng united the king of Chu, Sima Wei, to together kill king of Runan, Sima Liang. Now the power fell to Sima Wei's hands. Jia Nanfeng carefully thought for a moment. It's not a thing. I launched two coups at first, but all turned into sentences to other people. So she allowed the Prime Minister Zhang Hua together get rid of Sima Wei, and finally got the power. Well, by far, just two died among eight princes. It could have been turned over, but Jia Nanfeng didn't agree. She was going further and further on the road to death. She was scared that one day her full husband died. The genius prince Sima Yu would succeed to the throne. While Jia Nanfeng was not Sima Yu's biological mother, Sima Yu would deal with Jia Nanfeng for the so much trouble she had made. So Jia Nanfeng ordered the big talent, also one of the most handsome men in China history, Pan An. To forge a manuscript that Sima Yu intended to rebel. Your Majesty should kill yourself. If not, I will come and do it. The Queen should kill herself as soon as possible. If not, I will do it by my hands. Therefore, Jia Nanfeng successfully abolished the genius prince Sima Yu. At this time, Sima Lun shined onto the stage. Who was Sima Yan's uncle, son of Sima Yi, little brother of Sima Zhao? He strategized Sun Xiu as a clever man, but without vision, inciting Jia Nanfeng to kill Sima Yu to stop the trouble forever. Jia Nanfeng sent the eunuchs to kill Sima Yu by poisoning, cutting food, and all kinds of ways, but failed. Eventually, the eunuchs chased Sima Yu all the way to the toilet and beat Sima Yu to death. This made Sun Xiu badly pleased, who was waiting for the excuse. After Sima Yu's death, King of Zhao Sima Lun immediately got rid of Jia Nanfeng and the Prime Minister Zhang Hua and got the power. By the way, Sima Lun abolished the full emperor Sima Zhong and himself became the emperor. Well, things are getting strange at this stage, aren't they? It is true Sima Zhong was a fool, but usurper but not be a good guy, right? Then the chaos finally began. The following content will be more complex. At this time, King of Qi, Sima Zhong. King of Chengdu, Sima Ying, and King of Hejian, Sima Yong, concentrated troops to fight against evil rule under Sima Lun. Things from here would change into full-scale war and not a palace coup at first anymore. After a few rounds of fight, the coalition troop forces finally conquered Luoyang and killed Sun Xiu, the clever but no vision strategies of Sima Lun. And Sima Lun was also poisoned by a glass of wine with gold. In just over sixty days of chaos, one hundred thousand people were killed. As the initiator of this war, King of Qi Sima Zhong became the spokesman of the royal family for granted. In order to show that he was an ally of justice, he fished the full emperor Sima Zhong out of prison and continued to make him a puppet emperor. King of Qi Sima Zhong was not Sima Yan's son, but the full emperor Sima Zhong and the king of Chengdu Sima Ying and king of Changsha Sima Yi all were. They used to get along. But Sima Zhong's father was killed by Sima Yan. Plus, King of Hejian Sima Yong, the shit stick in the late Eight Princes War, constantly provoked the relationship of the kings mentioned above. Finally, the war broke out again. 
This time, the united troop of king of Changsha, Sima Yi, king of Chengdu, Sima Ying, and king of Hejian, Sima Yong, defeated the army of king of Qi, Sima Jiong. While Sima Yi, who killed Sima Jiong, he became the new spokesman of imperial power. Here, I'd like to explain why there were so many wars between the Jin royal families. First of all, it was definitely not a genetic problem, because the Seven Kingdoms Rebellion had happened in the Liu family, the Han Dynasty, with strong genes. After that, Emperor Wu of Han implemented the Push Grace Order to fundamentally solve the problem. All of your sons can inherit the titles of nobility and your land. That means, before that, only the eldest son could inherit the titles and the land. Now, with the Push Grace Order, the land of the princess will be cut small pieces in several generations. It will lift the local threat to the central. Then the problem must be in the system. Sima Yan discovered the rule of usurping power in seizing the throne by officials through the two things of usurping Han in Cao Wei and the Sima family acting for Wei. Therefore, he decided to weaken the power of ministers and increase the power of the royal family. He lavished rewards of the kings of Sima family, expanded the size of their kingdom, increased the size of their fiefdom, and gave them more military power, allowing them to keep their armies. With the power of the kings gradually increased, naturally, they had the idea of seizing the throne. On the other hand, King of Changsha, Sima Yi, was a rare talent in the chaos of the eight princes. He could not only lead the army, but also care for the people. Yes, he's the most handsome guy in the trailer. You must choose him then. Okay, let's get back. When he got the power, the king of Hejian, Sima Yong, inside the king of Chengdu, Sima Ying, to together attack Sima Yi, since Sima Yi's weak background. Sima Yi defeated Sima Ying's 200,000 troops with only one-tenth of the amount of the enemy and killed 60 to 70,000 of them. Well, by the way, Sima Yi invented an invincible tactic at the time, which was to strap a four-yard iron halberd onto a horse back and charge in a line, working like a moving nail wall. But at this moment, Sima Yong sent one of his important general, Zhang Fang, to attack Sima Yi in both front and back way. Originally, Sima Yi could have maintained the situation because of his good command and the union of his army and the people. But there was a traitor from his side. That was King of Donghai, Sima Yue, the terminator of the Eight Princess War. Sima Yue, a better shit stick than Sima Yong, decided to tie up Sima Yi for Zhang Fang for the sake of his own political interests. But Zhang Fang was a psycho. Once he killed tens of thousands of slaves for their meat just because his army had no food. This time, the way he dealt with Sima Yi was to put him on fire and roast him to death. Since Luoyang was almost destroyed during the war, Sima Ying, who was in charge this time, decided to move the capital, or we say the government agencies, to his base camp, Yechen. It had good feng shui and it was convenient for his remote command. But the trouble was not over. At this time, Sima Yue's little brother and the northern general Wang Jun united with ethnic nation of Wu Huan and Xian Bei to rebel. In order to resist the 400,000 troops, Sima Ying released the later famous Han top minister Liu Yuan to let him gather up Hans to fight against Wang Jun. My king, the enemy is out there. Please allow me to go back and combine the five tribes of Hans to assist you. What if I cannot keep Ye Chen? My king, 
please do keep here, Chen. If you go south, you will be killed by Sima Yong. I'll be back very soon. Okay, see you later then. But you know, Liu Yuan didn't get back for sure. After that, he established the Han's Han regime in the north, which was the beginning of the more chaotic, brutal, and bloody Sixteen Kingdoms era. Liu Yuan was the first Han to establish a kingdom in the east. From this point of view, he can be compared with Attila, even better. Okay, that's way too far. Therefore, Sima Ying was defeated by the northern nomads, while his base camp Yechen was also occupied. He took the full emperor back to Luoyang, but his power had run out. This time, Sima Ying can only be Sima Yong's hand. So, the final decisive battle is between the two conspirators as well as aspirants, Sima Yong and Sima Yue. At that time, the whole country was in chaos. Liu Yuan proclaimed himself the king in the north. Li Xiong was the king in Sichuan. Chen Ming was the king in the south of the Yangtze River. And warlords of all sizes were divided in the central place. Everyone took sides in this war. With the help of the warlords such as Wang Jun and Liu Hong, Sima Yue took the upper hand. While in Sima Yong's camp, he beheaded his general Zhang Fang for fear Zhang might rebel. And therefore, the civil strife arised in Sima Yong's camp. In several rounds of war, the balance of victory gradually inclined to Sima Yue. Finally, Sima Yue conquered Chang'an and controlled the full emperor Sima Zhong. The Eight Princes War ended like this. Sima Yue designed poisoning the full emperor Sima Zhong. Come and eat this pie. It's yummy. Great! Oh, it tastes a uh... Bit weird. Is there any problem with this pie? No, the pie is good. Maybe there's some problem with your belly. Fine. <sighs> After that, Sima Yue set up a new puppet emperor, Sima Chi, and Sima Yue himself became the actual supreme ruler and Sima Ying and Sima Yong subsequently died. After the big chaos, the Western Jin dynasty was unable to contain the northern barbarian tribes as well as the local warlords. What was buried with Sima Ying and Sima Yong was the whole Western Jin dynasty. In the following, the whole central plains of China started great turmoil for nearly 300 years. For nearly 300 years. Okay, that's a brief intro of the Eight Princess history. Also, the first video clip of me, Kong Pao Pikachu, on YouTube. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. If you have any question about Eight Princess history, please leave a comment. Okay, see you next time.